بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد عيا لحبت في الله. This is the second sitting with regards to the conditions, the شروط لا إله إلا الله. And the second condition, حفظكم الله, is certainties that you should have certainty in the shahada. And with regards to that, we mentioned that knowledge is the first one. So knowledge and the second one is certainty. And when we said knowledge, just for clarification, is that why do we, the question arises, why do we say that when we translate, especially compared to the old translations in English, we they used to translate la ilaha illallah as there is no God except the law. Why, do, why is that not sufficient as a definition? And why do we say there is no God worthy of worship except Allah? The reason being a habitafillah is because that when we say that there is no God except Allah, that doesn't take into consideration that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that some people take their uh, their desires as lords, meaning some people they they worship their desires, they follow their desires so much. If they want to drink, if they want to smoke, if they want to do other unlawful things, they follow that over worshiping Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. To such an extent, they love their desires and they go to the extent of worshiping their desires. That then that means their desires become a type of god. Not meaning their desires have a power compared to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Abedin, you can't make a comparison between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his creation or anything. However, people take it, their desires as a as gods. And likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that the pagan Arabs and others, they worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and this is well known, that there are some people who worship the saints, some people who worship Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam, some people worship Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, some people they worship the angels. If you go to Ethiopia, for example, a very orthodox Christian country in, in many respects, but you'll find that they have holidays and there's so many sects of Christianity there. Some they have a, a, a night for Jibreel where they worship and they fast for the angel Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam. And some for Mar Maryam and some for... So you have so many things that people worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that being the point of why we say that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. The second condition of habitif Allah is certainty. The second condition of the shahada is certainty or al yaqeen. This is the opposite of doubt and uncertainty. In Islam, in fact, any kind of doubt with regards to the Sharia, with regards to uh, about Allah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his divine names and attributes, his, um, uh, you know, his right to rule or anything like this, any doubt with regards to this is an act of kufr or disbelief. And this is why the mu'min strives to clean their heart from disbelief and shirk and that which will bring about uncertainty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem innamal mu'minun alladheena aamanu billahi wa rasuli thumma lam yartabu wa jahidu bil amwalihim wa anfusihim fi sabili Allah ulaika humul sadiqun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem the true believers are those only who believe in Allah and his messenger and afterward doubt not but strive with their wealth and their lives for the cause of Allah. Such are the sincere. Those are the ones who are sincere. A mu'minun haqqan, a sadiqun. Those are the people, they strive with their wealth and their property, and they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with certainty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, alif la meem, thalik al-kitab ala rayba fihi hudin lil-muttaqeen, alladheena yu'minun bil-ghaybi wa yuqimun salat wa mimma razaqna hum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after Alif, uh, Alif Lam Mim, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابَ لَا رَيْبَ فِي This is the book where the, in which there is no doubt. There's no doubt. Because if you have doubt in the book, meaning the Quran, then this is disbelief. So don't, whenever, if, if, if internally the shaitan whispers to you, or you get a negative thought about, is the Quran Allah's word or not? Is there a mistake in the Quran or not? Is there a contradiction in the Quran or not? Are the Shia right in their claims? Is it the, 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 the mustashrikun, the, the orientalists, are they correct? If ever you, that, those whispers come to you, cut it off.
and say a'udhu billah min ash rajim and seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say amantu billahi wa rasuli I believe in Allah and I believe in his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and cut off the doubtfulness because those are the characteristics of the, the believers that, that Alif la mim dalik al kitab al raibi they believe in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hudin lil muttaqin that it's a guidance for the muttaqin those pious alladheena yu'minuna bil ghaib those who believe in the ghaib that's the characteristic of the believer not to have doubt and doubt in the ghaib don't doubt that there is um that there's a day of judgment don't doubt in those pillars of iman because that is what makes you a believer that's what makes you a mu'min bi idnillah ta'ala Similarly, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, No one meets Allah with a testimony that there is none worthy of worship but Allah. And I am the Messenger of Allah. And he has no doubt about that statement except that he will enter paradise. Ru'ahu Muslim. Ahabatifillah. This is a, a nas sarih. This is strong evidence to show us that this is a condition. You have to be certain in Islam. You have to be certain in Tawheed. You have to be certain in the Shahada. You can't say, Oh, so and so made the shahada, and that's enough. No, they have to believe in that shahada because the munafiqun, the people who are hypocrites, can say the shahada, but they don't believe it. Their hearts are not content with iman. They don't believe. Men, anyone can say that testimony. So beware when you hear our brothers and sisters who say, "Well, iman is in my heart," and they don't even believe. Maybe we don't. We can't tell those things. But the point being is that iman it requires for us a, a strong, strong conviction. And it requires certainty that you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it requires that you do deeds, you do actions. Uh, iman, qul, wal amal, uh, amal bi jawarih, wa tasdiq bi qalb. That iman, it's in your heart, it's belief in your heart, it's a statement of the tongue, and it's your actions that you do. So if you do a, a charitable act, you do something nice for someone, you give them some money. This is, this is part of your iman. If you believe in Allah, and Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this is a part of your Iman. If you uh, take something out of the road that's harmful, that's a part of Iman. If you, uh, you make the, the testimony of faith, that's a part of Iman. But again, that requires certainty in Allah. And that's why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he said, No one meets Allah with the testimony that there is none worthy of worship but Allah, and I am the Messenger of Allah. That's the Shahada, the Kamal Shahada. And he has no doubt about that statement. So you shouldn't have doubt. That's a condition. It's mush, mushtarat that when you make that testimony of faith, what is the condition? The condition is that you have no doubt. And that's what the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. So that shows us that you have to have true uh, faith in your heart. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem in Surah At-Tawbah, they alone seek leave of thee not to participate in jihad, who believe not in Allah in the last day, and whose hearts feel doubt. So in their doubt, they waver. SubhanAllah, a heart that's full of doubt, it goes to the right and the left. It's always like this. But the heart full of Iman that believes in Allah, then they know they have a they know they have a path. They're comfortable comfortable. And